Hello, Nelly Mack with Sapphire Star Coots here, and this will be my monthly reading for July 2024 for Star Seeds and Star Children. We will be pulling from six different decks to bring in um, guidance for the month ahead and just see what spirit is bringing in for us. Now, Star Seeds are souls from specific places. Um, there's many different ones, Pleiadi and Arctur and um, been talking. There's so many different ones and some people, they're a mix of different ones, but they're here with like a double mission. They're, they have a very high life purpose. And if you feel the pull to the word star seed, it probably means that you are one. And also for star children. So star children are um, souls who have been incarnating on the planet there's about five different waves now. They started with indigos and moved through crystal children and rainbow children, diamond children, and sun children. And I'm sure there will be even more new ones. But I've specifically been um, creating a project called Project Star Child. Um, you can find it at www.sapphirestarquids.com where you can get readings to find out what kind of star child you or your child might be. And also guidance and energy um, protection for traversing being a star child. They um, each have their pros and cons and ways that we can learn to move into that energy and understand ourselves better. Also, this is a general reading for a huge group of people. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And please also remember that I have eight cats and they love it when I'm down here making these videos. They love to get into stuff, make noises, pull up my backdrop, and um, I don't know I don't know what to do, but to just kind of let them bring their energy in here. So if you hear noises, see my backdrop going crazy, that's my cat. So let's go ahead and get in here. So this is July 2024 for Star Seeds and Star Children. We are using the Quantum Oracle deck. I love reading by energy. So let's see. We have, wow, this is some really interesting energy we have coming in for July. So I'm seeing that as you're moving into this, you might, like, as you're moving into higher vibrations, maybe trying to understand yourself or your gifts, things like that, you may be having some trouble finding what you're looking for. I'm seeing the professional um, assistance card here reversed. Now, I want to look that one up specifically because this is a people card. And this is about connecting with someone. Let's see. So it's saying you could use some help. You've been trying to ignore the problem or solve it yourself. You feel alone, feel overwhelmed. Let the universe provide the help you need. So this is says that it's time to really start looking into assistance for what you've been asking questions about. It's time to find somebody. Maybe you're scrolling through YouTube and you see like someone that posted a video that's answering the very questions you've been asking or you Google um, maybe like um, an like a ascension symptom that you've been having like ringing ears or your third eye has been feeling weird, different things like that. This is the time to start actually seeking help to, um, cause there is like, there's a lot of guidance out there for you. But I'm also seeing that this is a transformative time. We have this, the cycle card that says transformation. So you're in that literal cocoon. Like you are changing from one thing into a literal other thing. And we're going to do this all the time in our lives, right? But, um, this is, you know, a month of transformation, or maybe it's the month for you to finish up that cycle and you're going to be coming out of your cocoon. But whatever it is, we also have the loving woman card. And this is all about nurturing. This is about um, the divine feminine and believing in yourself and allowing yourself a lot of self love. Okay. So self love, this is a huge thing. As star seeds and as star children, we come here with life missions and we know we're here for purpose. We know there's something that we are here to do. And as we push forward, sometimes trying to figure out what that is, we, um, we kind of maybe lose our footing and lose our ground. 
as we're pushing. I know this is something that is I have done as a um, sapphire indigo child and a pleading star seed that I tend to kind of lose touch with reality and spend a lot of time in the spiritual realm because that feels comfortable, that feels safe. And when we come down here to the um, the energy in the 3D and of the planet, um, it doesn't feel very good. And we sometimes wonder, what the heck are we doing here? Why did I come here? Um, I'm being led to even just let you guys know that there are times when um, you can be having panic attacks. I have experienced this as a child. I even experience it to this day. They're not as bad. But this ha can happen when our soul is trying to leave our body because of the trauma that we've experienced or it feels a little too oppressive. The, the vibrations are so low that we cannot literally, our soul can literally not handle them anymore. So we have a panic attack as our soul is trying to leave our body. So I just want to um, bring that to your attention that if you are experiencing panic attacks, it's time to plug into the divine feminine. It's time to plug into Gaia and that loving woman and reaffirm that we have two feet on the planet, that we are here to assist Gaia in the ascension into 5D and higher of her um, spiritual and physical body and to do grounding, like like get your roots into the ground, get, get by a tree, get outside, put your feet on the ground. Whatever that looks like to you, I don't care if it's just like holding some stones in your hand, whatever that looks like, get yourself grounded this month, okay? So let's go ahead and move on. We have Tegata. Okay, and this deck is all Pleiadian. This is all seven of the Star Sisters of the Pleiades. And I believe it's their mother and father, Atlas, and trying to remember her name, but these are all each, there's like so many cards of each Pleiadian star. So we have Tegata, and this is called the Temple Home. I no longer search outside of myself for home. So there we go. Just that message I was telling you. You may not feel at home on the planet because your soul knows. Your soul knows where you've come from. Your soul knows there is so much out there that is so much higher vibration and feels freeing, but it is time to establish that you are home. You are here, two feet on the ground right now, and it's going to be okay, okay? Home is in you. Home is knowing what you're here for. Home is surrendering to the process of what your life purpose, life mission is. Okay, we're going to move to the Starseed Oracle, I think is what it's called. And um, yeah, the Starseed, yep, that's exactly what it is. Oh, they're flying out. Double mission. Like, listen, guys, this is what I just said. Light work, light worker Starseed, serve the world by being you. So, not just are you changing the vibration of the planet simply by being here, okay? We each bring our own specific energy, our own resonance, our own frequencies and vibrations. They can be colors. They can be um, like different beings that we are pieces of. And they can be like from the stars that we come from. All of these different things. These are all part of your mission just being here. And on top of that, then I do feel like we each have a creative reason that we're here, whether that's channeling spirit or whether that's creating healings or being a healer or just using um, like our creativity and art, writing, anything like that. We all have something that we're here to create, to channel, to bring the divine here and to help others raise their vibration. So you've got both. You got just being you, just being here, allowing yourself to just fully commit and being here for Gaia, but also moving into those creative things, that soul mission, um, just being love, just showing love, just showing non-judgment. All of these things are great ways for us to change the vibration of everything going on around us. So we're also going to pull a spirit animal card. 
So let's see what comes up for the star seeds and star children. We have Beaver, lay a solid foundation. So as you're moving into all this energy, like realizing that you are here for a reason, what do you want that to look like in the future? Maybe it's something you've never really thought about. Maybe you've just been kind of like struggling to get to where you are today. But as I'm saying, like this transformation card says that you're moving into a new cycle. So what are you going to have as a foundation after you are done with this cycle and moving into a higher vibrational cycle? What do you want that to look like? It can be anything you want it to be. Don't play small. Um, don't like be like, oh, well, I can't do that because people are going to think there's something wrong with me or I can't. Like, you know, maybe you like to dress in bright colors, dye your hair all different colors. Maybe you don't match. Maybe you've got like stripes on the top and plaid on the bottom or something. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. You are bringing a specific vibration to the planet of change. Every time you step out of the norm, you step out of your comfort zone, you're facilitating change you're facilitating acceptance on the planet right and this is something that we really need here so do not play it small maybe like you know journal what was my what do I want my foundation to be as I'm moving for transformation like I've been here what do I want the next level to look like for me and it, it needs to be things that make you happy that you're passionate about they make you feel good they make you feel valued okay so get some um, foundations laid this month about what you want your next cycle to look like. Or even if you've already started your next cycle, like you know you've come out of that virtual cocoon, and um, but you're still not quite sure what, you're, what you want to move into or anything, make sure that you know, you're making that very clear, okay? So I'm also going to pull a crystal and an essential oil card. Now these are both actual physical things. These are what crystal would best support um, star seeds and star children in July. Um, but also they have spiritual meanings. So we'll go ahead and check into both. Okay. He turned sideways. We have clear quartz. Are you trying to gain clarity? Do things seem hazy and dark right now? Is your path unclear or uncertain? Go within to see the positive in all circumstances. Focus on the matter at hand. Maintain loving thoughts surrounding your current life situation. So also connects with the angel of clarity. I see my life situation clearly and from a greater perspective. I am focused on all that I do. I am lovingly conscious in every action I take. I proceed with a greater understanding of what is required of me. So this goes exactly into what we were talking about in the beaver spirit. What are your intentions? What is your path going to look like? So you can write these out. And it would be great to like set it somewhere if you have an altar or just the top of a dresser or a table or a shelf somewhere, put a piece of quartz on top of it, right? Like you can take your quartz, hold it in your hand and program it with your intention. So quartz, I want you to give me clarity. I want you to help me to manifest laying this beautiful foundation for myself. Okay, so quartz. And that's really great because most everybody... Um, starts with quartz. So if you are, if you're not like a crystal collector, like most of us are, um, you probably at least have one piece of quartz sitting around. So, okay. So let's see what essential oil would support this month. These cards are really odd shaped and they're hard to shuffle. They're like really tall. Oh, let's see. Oh my God, I literally just did um, the recording for also the light worker and empath energy update for July. So I also got Malaluka for them as well. Okay, so the message here, so most everybody has tea tree around, right? If you have any essential oil, it's Malaluka tea tree, whatever. This is a great oil to put on your diffuser, to put on your wrist, to put behind your ears, on the back of your neck. Um, 
to just have her because it strengthens resilience and confidence. As we're moving into the energy of July, we're moving into Leo season. It's about being in the spotlight. It's about having confidence, believing in yourself. And as you're moving into all this beautiful energy of realizing the answers are coming if you're going to seek them, right? As you're moving through the transformation, tapping into the divine feminine, believing in yourself, nurturing, setting foundations, and seeing that you do have a double mission here, Malaluka is going to help you to move into that. So it not just is going to physically help you. Like Malaluka has so many like antibacterial properties and things like that. I find it very uplifting to smell myself. It makes me happy. But it is also um, emotionally going to strengthen resilience and confidence. So this would even be great. I'm hearing to like put on your put on your heart. Okay. So this has been the reading for July 2024 um, from Sapphire Star Codes for Star Seeds and Star Children. Now, once again, remember that if you want to check into the energy, I have a whole Star Child deck that I um, have made by myself that um, checks into the energy of spiritual gifts and um, if you are a specific type of star child. So you can find that at www.sapphirestarcodes.com and click on Project Star Child. I also have information on there about each different type of star child and we'll be adding um, you know, I'm working on it. I'm going to be adding in there for each kind of star seed so that you can like understand more about yourself and how you can um, best move forward and protect yourself. So sending so much love to you guys and you're all doing great. Just thank you for being here and for anchoring your light on the planet and helping to assist Gaia and the Ascension. And you guys have a great month.